Okay, so first of all, we got my button layout. This is probably the most important thing in my whole settings. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different to everybody else. I actually play Bumper Jumper Tactical. Uh, this is uh, different from what probably you guys are used to. Most people use a scuff or a battle beaver or something like that. Uh, I actually jump with, uh, with L1 here. Uh, and then throw my tactical grenades with the X button if you're on PS4 or A if you're on Xbox. Uh, this basically just allows you to jump shot uh, and drop shot without having extra paddles or a scuff or anything. Uh, so I use that uh, stick layout, just default. And then next up, uh, dead zones. This, I don't really... Uh I change these around a lot depending on how much stick drift I have. This just works uh, specifically with my controller right now. Uh, so that's not too important. This is kind of like you tailor it to your own personal controller. Uh, but next up, we got a horizontal stick sensitivity. Six vertical stick sensitivity. Again, six. You'll notice that most of the Warzone players play between five and eight. I would say some like to venture a little higher. Uh, but yeah, I'd say six is a pretty pretty happy average. The only difference for me is my uh, ADS sensitivity multiplier is uh, 0.65. This is much lower than a lot of people. People, but uh i find that uh, having a lower ads sensitivity uh means you can be more more precise much more accurate when you're aiming in especially with the scopes on like lmgs and stuff and uh, at long range you're much more efficient especially on controller and because it's already quite slow when you're looking left and right aim assist seems to make you stick a lot harder as well uh so yeah lower ads seems to be the meta for me uh personally aim response curve type dynamic I watched a whole video, and I'm sure you guys can find the video on YouTube, uh, about all the different types of aim response curve, but Dynamic seemed to be the one that had the most consistent aim assist over, like, different ranges and, like, uh, sustained shooting, and it's, ever since I switched to it, it's worked, so I've just kept that. Uh, so I would suggest that I tried pro I've tried a few other things uh, like on here with just the regular aim assist I tried precision that doesn't really work with the aim response time standard seems to be the second best uh, It's all right, but I would get used to dynamic if I were you guys um, Next up controller vibration. I would definitely have this off I don't see how this is ever gonna benefit you. Maybe it's a more immersive experience But if you're trying to be the best player you can be uh, your controller shaking while you're trying to shoot is not going to help with the minimum the little mini adjustments while you're aiming and running It's it's just really is not uh, scale aim assist with FOV This is one that a lot of people get confused about I have this on and it seems to work for me really really well A lot of people when they don't have it on end up playing better when they do turn it on I know some people have it off, but I would definitely suggest uh, having this on uh, Obviously, this is uh, this is a lot of these uh, uh, PC things um this stuff, uh, I don't really ever pay attention to, to much of this, so uh, it's just there if you want to copy it, and it's not that important. Uh, the only stuff I will say is, obviously, I mean, aim down sight behavior, hold, that's kind of that's kind of standard, but equipment behavior being hold and use reload behavior being a holding contextual tap right there, as you'll see on the screen. Uh, this is the best settings for Warzone. For multiplayer, I would not suggest this. Uh, it's actually only helpful for Warzone. It's just the best way to loot, interact with like vehicles and stuff in the most efficient way. Uh, so that you loot the fastest and interact with uh, your environment the fastest without getting stuck. And it also means you can reload without picking up guns off the floor and stuff. Again, it's pretty much the opposite. You want to have it literally the other way around in multiplayer. But for Warzone, this is absolutely perfect. Uh, armor plate behavior definitely apply one. Uh, if you play, if you apply all, a lot of the time you get stuck just putting plates on in the middle of gunfights. Putting on one at a time, it's very easy. You just hold it down if you want to put the, all the plates on, or if you know you're about to have a gunfight, you can just take your finger off the button and bam, you're ready for a gunfight. Easy. Uh, slide behavior being on tap, that's how you slide cancel. Obviously easy. Auto move forward. Uh, this is just W key mode basically. I don't find this very helpful. It actually messes up a lot of positioning, so I wouldn't suggest that uh tactical sprint uh the auto tax sprint i started using this actually and i think it's made me a better player uh i never vouched for it i always said it wasn't the one uh and the whole of a dance actually i didn't use it but i recently put it on and i feel like my movement on the whole and my my pace around the map uh is a lot lot better so i would definitely suggest that's something to get used to if you like shotguns maybe not the best thing to use but, uh, I don't know. I mean, not many people use shotguns right now, with the meta being the, uh, the MP40. I guess you have the Akimbo shotguns, but they're gonna get nerfed anyway, so I wouldn't mess with that too much. But yeah, auto attack sprint, definitely something worth getting used to. Uh, parachute auto deploy, I mean, if you have bad connection, or... A bit of an issue with pulling your shoot i guess then maybe have it enabled but i feel like the, all the top tier players have this disabled because you can pull a lot closer to the ground like those times when there's a guy on the floor below you and you're flying in at him you're gonna want to pull your shoot as close to the ground as possible the auto deploy pulls quite high above the ground and then you're just a slow moving target floating in towards someone you're a free lick in the sky so i would take this off 
uh, and just get better at pulling your shoot late, I guess. But if, like I said, if you're lagging or you have a lot of trouble with pancaking, then leave this uh, enabled, I suppose. Uh, I think that's about everything uh, controller-wise, to be honest.